Hello my dear students. So in the previous video we discussed regarding the oxo acids of a phosphorus and how to write in an easy way its structure and how you are going to decide the basicity of that given oxo acid okay and what is oxo acid okay these all things we have discussed. I hope you find that one useful. Similarly in this video we will going to discuss the oxo acids of a sulfur. Okay, so there is, uh, we are going to discuss an easy trick to which we can write the structure, you can remember the structure and their basicity as well as a preparation. Okay, so when it comes to oxo acids as I have already told here that particular element is in bond with the uh, what we can say oxygen and the hydrogen. Okay, so uh, these are following oxo acids that I have taken around 6 oxo acids of a sulfur. Okay, so the first one is sulfurous acid. Okay, sulfurous acid here. Uh, the common rule or the uh, main trick that you have to remember or the common rule that you have to remember while writing any structure of oxo acid is that that particular element is in bond with oxygen as well as with the hydroxyl group. So this is common that is one OH bond and one double bond O is common for any oxo acids. Okay do remember that one. Okay so remaining whatever the extra hydrogen that is present or the oxygen that is present that you have to uh, balance. How you will going to balance it is based on the center element. Okay here Sulfur is from which group dear students? It is from the oxygen family. Okay. There is a 16th group of element. Okay. When I say 16th group element, its valency electrons are 6. Means in a bonding, the 6 electrons will be involved. That is the maximum 6 bonds you can put for the sulfur over here. Okay. So likewise, 15 group, 5 valence electron, 16 group, 6 valence electron. Uh, 17 group 7 valency electrons like that you have to remember the valency electrons so valency and the valency electrons are totally different okay yes now let us go with this basic trick over here and how we are going to find out the basicity dear students this is the number of OH bond that are present okay the number of OH bond that are bonded to the sulfur will decide how much basicity is for that particular oxo acid clear <coughs> yes now let us go with the first one sulfurous acid here <clears throat> the structure as I told yes double bond O and one OH will be there okay and still you have one hydrogen and another oxygen okay so we can write here as uh, like a SOH and you can write here as OH so it is H2SO3 we got okay but here the condition is that at least a 6 because the number of valence electrons in sulfur is 6. So we have only 2, 4, 5 that are involved okay. <clears throat> so there is a presence of a lone pair of electrons on the sulfur this you have to represent okay. So 2, 3, 4 and 2 electrons like okay this is how it will going to form or you will going to write the structure of sulfurous acid okay I hope it is clear this is how you need to write the structure of a sulfurous acid similarly <clears throat> count the basicity how many OH bond you have with a sulfur 2 OH bond so how many SOH bond dear students we have 2 so the basicity will be how much it is 2 so I can call it as a dibasic acid okay yes similarly let us move to the sulfuric acid one of the strong acids okay and it is also known as the oil of vitriol or king of chemicals we are going to call it okay so you have studied the method of preparation by the contact process in your theory part so now if we <clears throat> go with the structure same thing right sulfur one double bond O will be present one OH will be present okay now satisfy the remaining so another hydrogen another oxygen so let us write one more OH okay H2 yes O3 okay and still there is a presence of one more oxygen so it is double bond O <clears throat> so H2 yes O4 are there and two 
फोर फाइव सिक्स सो नंबर ऑफ वेलेंस इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर सिक्स सो दिस इज हाउ इल गोइंग टू सैटिस्फाई क्लियर यस नाउ हाउ मेनी हाउ मेनी द एस ओ एच बॉन्ड आर प्रेजेंट इयर स्टूडेंट हियर ऑल्सो वी हैव अ टू एस ओ एच बॉन्ड सो द बेसिसिटी विल बी अगेन टू एंड इट इज ऑल्सो डाई बेसिक इन नेचर ओके दैट्स वाई गोइंग टू कॉल इज अ स्ट्रॉन्ग एसिड ओके सो नाउ सिमिलरली लेट एस मूव टू द थर्ड वन दट इज पर ऑप्सो मोनोसल्फ्यूरिक एसिड और विल गोइंग टू कॉल इज अ कैरोस एसिड or we'll going to call it as a peroxy monosulfuric acid okay these are the three names we'll going to call okay so it is like <clears throat> like the structure yes we have double bond o we'll be having oh will be having okay so this is how we'll going to write now satisfy the remaining and this is the one that will going to get a different structure why because see here the word peroxy okay or per oxo we have here means we have a o bond o present here okay that is we'll going to call it as a o o h bond will be present okay so here just observe so h2so5 we have so let us take let us take the bond will be another double bond o will be present okay and here there's a chance of getting oxygen okay and hydroxyl group this is how the bond will be present for h2so5 okay this is how the structure will be present see h2 okay yes 1 2 3 4 5 this is how the structure due to the presence of this oo that is peroxy bond the name is peroxy monosulfuric acid or peroxy sulfuric acid or per oxo sulf monosulfuric acid okay now <clears throat> check the bond for the sulfur 2 4 5 6 right yes so now how many yes oh bond are present dear students just concentrate i am telling yes oh bond the bonds are the presence of a oh but it is bonded to the oxygen so we don't want that one okay we want s oh bond how many we have one so what is the basicity here the basicity of this caros acid is one okay yes similarly let us move to the next one that is per oxo disulfuric acid okay per oxo disulfuric acid <clears throat> okay take a two sulfuric acid okay and here what happens it also known as a marshall's acid by the scientist it got the nom name marshall okay how exactly we will going to get here c h2s2o8 we have okay so that is a disulfuric acid again what we have per oxo okay so again there is a o bond o will be present then how you will going to write the structure dear students sulfur sulfur because we have two sulfur according to the formula so common rule is double bond o double bond o for this another oh bond is here another oh bond is here now satisfy <clears throat> so h2 got over here out of 8 oxygen i have already given <clears throat> four oxygen over here now satisfy double bond o okay and here double bond o so now h2 s2 o8 1 2 3 4 5 6 we have so 7 as well as 8 okay so due to the presence of this bond again we we'll going to get a word peroxo or per oxo disulfuric acid okay this is a structure now how many soh bond we have dear students we have one two so two soh bond is present so that's why the basicity is two and it is also known as a dibasic in nature okay yes similarly we have the next one pyrosulfuric acid which is also known as a oleum okay you might have heard this word oleum that is it's a mixture of concentrated sulfuric acid and fuming fuming sulfur trioxide okay which is known as a oleum which will be used in the preparation of a, a what we can say phenol okay by the cumin process like it will going to find application even in the preparation like this comes out as a product while preparing preparing the sulfuric acid okay yes these are all the application now pyrosulfuric acid so i already told in the previous word why the 
previous video why the word pyro will appear here okay pyro means by heating a particular compound there may be a elimination of a water molecule or something okay or carbon dioxide like that so that's why the word pyro that is heating of the substance okay here when i'll take a uh, two molecules of sulfuric acid okay when i take a two molecules of sulfuric acid when it is heated the one water molecule will be eliminated from this one so when i eliminate one water molecule it will go into you h2s2o7 okay this is how it will be prepared so that's why pyro sulfuric acid so now the time is to write the structure same take a sulfur okay another sulfur one double bond o one double bond o similarly one oh and one oh okay now satisfy so we have already hydrogen satisfied four oxygen out of uh, uh, seven now double bond o and here double bond o let us take okay so still uh, how many three three okay now the remaining one oxygen will act as a bridge between the two sulfur so now h2 yes two okay o7 now satisfy the valency electrons 2 4 5 6 for this sulfur 2 4 5 6 for this sulfur okay this is how the structure will going to write now how many soh bond is present here students we have two <clears throat> so the basicity will be again two here okay so the last one that is dithionic acid okay dithionic acid here H2S2O6. Okay. Now let us write the structure. We have yes double bond O. Yes double bond O. 1 OH bond and 1 OH bond. Okay. So now this is a common thing you have to remember. Now satisfy. Hydrogen got over. Sulfur got over. Remaining uh, 4, oxy 4 oxygen already satisfied. Remaining 2. Let us write double bond O here double bond o here okay now two four five six two four five six okay so this is how the structure uh, like uh, uh, six of them one two three four five six yeah it is satisfied now the word dithy means thy means like a sulfur so here the sulfur are directly connected so that's why the word dithionic acid okay so this is how <clears throat> And you have to practice and the here the basicity again we have a how many SOH bond here students we have a 2 and that's why the basicity is 2 and it is a dye basic in nature. So this is how you can practice the oxo acids of a sulfur in an easy way. Okay. So there is a simple trick to remember. Okay. So like we have how you can remember we have h2so3 of lower oxidation state will going to use ous as a, like ous word like sulfurous acid for the higher oxidation state will going to use the word oic acid or uh, ic acid okay that is how now the simple way to remember here is h2so3 when one oxygen added it will give h2so4 okay that is sulfurous acid sulfuric acid okay so that is what we have given and take one more oxygen we will going to get a h2so5 okay one of the accrued method through which you can remember that's what i am saying okay so <clears throat> this is we're going to call it as a, a mono a mono disulf sorry monosulfuric acid or caros acid or per oxy monosulfuric acid okay so this is how you can remember so repeating this is a sulfurous acid sulfuric acid Caros acid. Okay. Similarly, let us when it comes to H2S2O8, uh, H2S2O8, like uh, take a two molecules of uh, sulfuric acid. Okay. So <clears throat> when heated, like uh, eliminate one hydrogen. Okay. That is the two hydrogen or one hydrogen molecule. You will going to get what, dear students? You're going to get H2S2O8. That is disulfuric acid or Marshall acid. Okay. So similarly, pyrosulfuric acid, I have already shown how you are going to prepare it. Okay, similarly, dithionic acid also you can prepare in the same way. Where we are going to have uh, H2S, 
SO3, okay, H2SO3, take two molecules of a sulfurous acid, heat it, okay, so there is what we can say elimination of a hydrogen through which you will going to get H2S2O6, okay, this is how the simple method you can remember to prepare, okay, how uh, the, it's a crude method of remembering the sulfurous, sulfuric, okay, and caros acid. Similarly, <clears throat> martial acid. Similarly, H2H2O6, that is dithionic acid, okay. So, and even the oleum. So, this is how you have to remember in an easy way. I hope you find this one useful, okay. Thank you.